With the governor urging people not to gather and with many still struggling financially, a lot of families are looking for help to put a Thanksgiving meal on the table. 12 News reporter Courtney Carter spoke to some local organizations that are answering the call. Speaking to these organizations, they're all saying the same thing. They're seeing a huge increase in the number of people in need, as well as many first-time families coming out for help. Jessica Bergout, a commanding officer at the Salvation Army, started off her morning at the 7th annual Turkey Run starting out of East Providence. Teaming up with local company East Commerce Solutions and Shaw's, they are feeding over 13,000 people this Thanksgiving. This year, the need for Thanksgiving is tremendous. Donating turkeys and Thanksgiving baskets that are being distributed to local nonprofits in the area. Stopping at places like the Salvation Army of Pawtucket in Providence, the Greater Providence YMCA, and the Boys and Girls Club of Providence. But with this pandemic and the, and the um, employment strain and the child care strain, we've seen our numbers here just at our Providence location triple. Rebecca Keister, a director at Meals on Wheels, Rhode Island, says they will serve 1,300 senior citizens across the state. Full Thanksgiving meal with turkey, mashed potatoes, butternut squash, um, and apple crisp for dessert. She says the pandemic and regulations leaving many seniors not just without food, but without company. The vast majority of our clients, like 63%, live by themselves. And our delivery driver is the only person they see on a regular basis. Heather Hallstrout, executive director of the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Community Center in Newport, serves all of Newport County. Potatoes and sweet potatoes. And says this Thanksgiving, they'll be providing for 500 families. Last year, we went out 30, about 30 times to the community. And so far in 2020, we've gone out almost 130 times. Now, if you're looking for a Thanksgiving meal or know someone that is, you can head to WPRI.com. We've compiled a list of resources. I'm Courtney Carter, 12 News.